I get the question all the time, where is the soil? Do the plants need soil? Well, ironically, we were farmers in Minnesota. My parents, grandparents, and great -parent grandparents were farmers. I still have cousins farming today in soil, but then they're reliant on Mother Nature, on the soil. You know, all the things that go on with soil, I don't have to deal with here in this beautiful greenhouse. I have 5,000 square feet of space and I can grow 10 times more in this greenhouse than in the soil. So, for example, this is 5,000 square feet. This would be equal to an acre of soil horizontally. And I can grow year round. Farmers are racing to get their crops in, you know, when spring comes, and then they hope they get a little bit of rain, but not too much rain. And, and then they hope it doesn't get too hot, and they try to turn their crops as fast as they can. Well, in my greenhouse, in this controlled environment, I can do that year round without soil. Soil is not something you need. With our towers and our tower garden solution, our tonic A and B, we don't need the microbes because we're not throwing on our plants all this organic plant and animal material because you need those microbes to break that down. Our nutrient solution has all those trace minerals and micronutrients, phytonutrients that the soil has that the plants need, and we need that from the plants. And we get that out of the tower tonic that we grow with. You can look at the beautiful Swiss chard here. Look at the quality and the, the greenness of this. I mean, this is 28 days old. We got some next door to it that's just about, you know, 10 to 14 days old. Look at the vibrancy. You can see the amount, you know, just how nutritionally dense this is. I mean, the structure of the leaf, just incredible. I mean, we have lots of things in the towers here. As you can see, you know, we're growing some lemon sorrel. I mean, here's some bigger chard as well. Some mizuna. I mean, it's just incredible. The things, some dandelion. You got some bib lettuce. You know, if you come down here, we've got lots of different herbs. If you come this way, we've got beautiful arugula. We're growing some strawberries. Beautiful celery. I mean, celery is just incredible off the tower, especially for all your juicers. You've got some red vein sorrel, some incredible Granny Blanks mint, beautiful nasturtium. So for those of us that are trying to not use peppers and stuff like that, that tastes just like pepper. Beautiful oregano. So for those of us that want to make all our own sauces and things, beautiful oregano, fennel. Tarragon. We also grow stevia. For those that don't want to use sugar or artificial sweeteners, you can grow stevia. Beautiful plants that, um, you know, if you want to grow some plants, beautiful flowers that you can eat, growing some catnip. So you can do this all in the tower. Some beautiful spinach growing here. I mean, just keep walking with me, you'll see it. Lots of thyme. It's too bad you can't smell this. It's just incredible. The rosemary. I mean, when you grow it yourself without chemicals, using a nutrient solution that's got, what, 70 plus essential minerals and nutrients in it, the power of your produce, the smell, the fragrance, the taste, the flavor is incredible. I'll encourage you to try it. You won't regret it.